Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I just got my firewood pro sizer in the mail. I'm gonna show you what came in the box and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install it on my saw. So here's what you get in the box. You have your firewood pro sizer CNC aluminum clamp. It requires three screws, but you're gonna receive five stainless steel anti-seize screws. So you've got a couple of spare. Comes with the requisite Allen wrench, a rubber insert, a USB charging cable, and the laser light. It's weatherproof, has an on and off switch, has a rechargeable lithium battery, and a capped USB port. Time to install it on my saw. What I did first, I gave it a little top-up charge. It is charged and tested before it leaves Washington. This lithium battery is going to give you about five hours of use. It'll take about one to one and a half hours to charge. And you can charge it with your USB cord, either through your computer, through perhaps a regular phone charger, or it can use a 12 volt or the USB connection in your truck or in your tractor. When the unit is charging, you're gonna see a bright red light in the back of the casing. And when it's fully charged, that light will become very, very dim. That's when you know you're ready to go. Now your laser is fully charged. I've already loosened the screw on the side of the flange. I'm gonna slide the laser in with the button facing out. For now, I'm just placing it temporarily so I have it in there. And I'm just going to tighten it down a little bit. You're going to mount your pro sizer so that the laser sits on the inside of the handle and you want to make sure it's in a position that's comfortable for your saw use. In my case here, you'll see that my oil fill is down towards the bottom of the handle. I also find it more comfortable when I'm felling trees and I'm pivoting that front cut. I like to grab the handle at the very bottom. Some folks are going to want to mount the laser at the bottom of the handle, some more towards the top. It's a personal choice, I think. For me personally, I don't want to mount it down at the bottom of the handle because it's going to interfere with my fill hole, but it's also going to make it uncomfortable for me when I'm trying to fell that tree. So I want to put it up a little bit, somewhere just above where my hand is comfortable, where I normally hold it when I'm doing that front cut. Because I want to get my hand in very comfortably underneath the clamp, I'm just going to take a marker here. So I've got that spot marked out before I mount it. So I removed the laser temporarily, and now I want to mount my clamp. When I put it around the circumference of my handle, it fits it perfectly. However, it's still loose. The Pro Sizer is designed to be used with a number of different saws, whether it's a home and garden saw right up to the biggest Pro Saw. That's why they included this rubber insert. I'm going to need it on this 261. Before I cut or alter this rubber insert, I'm going to try test fitting it a couple of different ways because different saws will have different size or diameter handles. You can test it in in parallel with the inside of one half of the clamp and see what that does or how that fits on the saw. But you may also find, as I did, that it's going to give you much better grip and fit better if you place it perpendicular to the clamp. Let's take a look. Insert our stainless steel screws. Finger thread them at first. And we'll tighten them a little bit with our hex wrench. We don't want to tighten at this point, we just want to snug it in because we're going to have to aim the clamp or the laser. We're going to make sure that the, the clamp sits above the mark as it does. We're just going to snug in each side a little bit at a time to try to maintain the orientation of the clamp to each other. Let's get our laser into the flange. Just loosen this up a bit. What you're going to want is you're going to want this button to be about 3 eighths of an inch or so in front of this flange here. We're going to slide it in 
and I'm going to stop it right about there and just snug it a bit. When you've determined that final resting place or distance back that you want the laser, you want to make sure that it sits behind the dogs on the saw. These dogs are going to bite into the bark and you want to make sure that the laser or the face of the laser does not sit ahead of those dogs. You want them in behind. So I think this is a position that works great for me. And as a result, I'm going to tighten this up now, firm it down on the laser. And because from time to time I'm going to have to remove that laser for charging, I'm just going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to make the mark on the casing on both sides of the flange so that I don't have to remeasure each time I put it back after I've charged the battery. So we're just about done. She's on, firm but not tight. I've marked and I've placed my laser where I'm going to need it in the future. And now it's time to set it to my measurement. Up in the woods, as you know, we like to cut it 16 inches here, but you can set it to whatever measurement you want. If you're outdoors, bring a tape measure with you, run it across a log. Here I'm in the workshop and I've got a yardstick, so I'm just going to do it right here with the yardstick. Setting the laser distance, pretty simple. At my yardstick, there's my 16 inch mark. That's where I buck my logs and my firewood. Assuming this is the log, I'm going to hold my bar perpendicular to that 16 inch mark. I'm going to turn on the laser and I'm going to adjust the clamp until my dot is right here at the beginning. Great. Now that I have it set, I'm going to tighten down this clamp. I'm going to do a little bit on each side to keep the pressure on it equal. Now she's on there. Yep, she's not moving. Excellent. Let's just test it again. There's my 16. That'll do it. Right on the money. I'm ready for the forest. And in case some of you were wondering, it doesn't get in the way. You can still use your carrying case. Thanks for sticking around with me today. I hope you found the install video helpful. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Be safe out in the forest. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again on the next one, right here on GP Outdoors. Cheers.